Good morning, good morning. So I let everything dry and um, yeah, you will see that I used some papers that I think fits absolutely stunning at the at the top and I used some ribbon which I glued on yesterday night while everything needed to dry and I thought if I would go to this right now then I can start right away next morning so everything is dry and nice and tight so what did I do because my other one I did not do but do you want to see me doing all this or can I tell you how to do this? What shall we do? Well, if I do this, then my paper pack is not completely the same. But I think you can do this. So what I did was the one with the... Where was it? Where was it? This paper pack. That's the back. The back is this um, cream color with the white dots. That's the back of this sheet. So I did cut my beauties. <laughs> um, so I split that in half. I smooched the edges. I used the vintage photo. I smooched it very well. And then after that I did use some forest moss. Distress ink for just a little bit of the green. To do that so those two I'm gonna use um, more and then I started so first glue down the papers just right along your fabric then I just added this um, this beige ribbon I started to add that first just along this fabric then I grabbed the green one, the green ribbon, and I added that just on the fabric. So you still see this edge. And then as last one, I used the lace one. And that I glued down on the edge of these two. So first the brown, then the green. And then right here in the middle, the lace. And that ends up with this. So everything is wrapped inside. And when I done that, I put a clim on and I let that overnight dry. So that is how I did this one. All right. Cool. Oh, this is my spare one. <laughs> All right. So what do you think? I think it's very neat and cool. Very glad that I tucked this in. Look how neat this looks. Oh, love it. Love, love, love it. Very neat. Very cool. I like it. So yeah, a good fabric glue will definitely do the job. How much did I use? Well, one fourth maybe of this bottle. But yeah, cool. So um, I really can recommend this beacon fabric tag. You, I know it's not a an, uh, an, 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 an cheap one, but maybe you will have a uh, another fabric glue. But the best way to do this, I think, is a fabric glue. So, but any brand you will like to use is cool. All right, so we can continuing. Of course, all my leftovers I always keep in in one place so I can use them right away. Um, next. What's next? Oh, okay. Um, the inside, I will keep that black because I don't know what kind of binding that I, not a binding, we don't have a binding because the box is already ready, but um, what kind of closure that I want. I still don't know exactly what I want. I definitely do a closure, but I don't know exactly what, what. So I like to start with my first insert. So yeah, because I am in the mood for, for that. So let's see what size and how we go further on this. So stay tuned guys. Let's get started on the first insert. Booklet, um, folio, however you're gonna call it. 
Okay, the first thing that I recommend that you do is see what size fits. All right, so I ended up with a seven five of an eight inch by five three fourth. That means 19.3 by 14 and a half centimeters. That's centimeters. That is the base size. So the base size, I mean, this just is a simple piece of paper and that fits marvelous in the pockets. In each pocket fits marvelous. And when you close the album, it's nice, almost the same size as the cover. So that is a beautiful size to start with. And this is just a base, but <laughs> but I just want to know um, the sizes, of course. Otherwise you can't do anything. You can't do anything to start with. You can start with a basic piece of paper, but that's just not what we are going to do. So what are we going to do? Well, first we are going to cut the page seven five of an eight seven five of an eight that's right there and from here we can do anything we want so i'm first going to make a score line at five three four five three four and then from here, what do we have left? Let's check that out. I do have six left. Let me just fold this first. See, and then I have this left. So I could make, I can make this. How much is this? Already a nice size. Three sixteenths. Right. Three sixteenths. What's that? What's what size is that? No idea. Oh, 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 Am I? Yeah, it's in between. It's in, in between. I think then a one fourth is might, I might like that. So I'm going to score right next to, oh, wait just a sec. A one fourth. Let's let's just start with that. All right. Yeah, do it difficult. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's just a start, guys. When I'm in the vibe, then all gets a little easier for me. But I always. I always have struggles with the first page. This is not a page, but well, it actually is a page with no binding system. All right, so let's say we're going to start with this. Yeah, that's cool. Um, this could be a nice start. And from here, we can do anything. We can do anything. So, guys. <laughs> Alright. Let my brain work for a sec. Okay, guys. Let's get started. Um, you can do anything. Anything that you do in an album, you can do on these little inserts. So, first, I like to start with cutting a piece and the size I well it's it's actually the cut off from a piece a random piece of paper but it needs to be the same size so that is one thing then I'm gonna grab the template that we made and I am gonna make a nice let me first make see what the middle is 
Alright, so that's about here. Does not have to be perfect, perfect, but. Alright, so just gonna place this in the middle. And how far shall we go? Um, first one, second one, third one also. Yeah, let's make this round one too. That's the last one. Alright, that is beautiful. Let's see if I can make this straight line. Yep, it's pretty straight. Okay. Yep. Let's cut that out. But, 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 the beauty of this is... Oh, let's just use this leftover piece. I do have this left, so why not? Alright, so what I'm going to do... Let me first cut this. Right in position with a small black edge. Always keep your bits. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place this at the back. On the right spot, I'm just going to watch that that black edge, left and right, is correct. And then the bottom can be totally straight. Alright, then I'm going to use some clamps on it to keep it all together and then I'm just going to cut this down the best I can Clamps, you still can use this, guys. We can use this for a pocket, so this this we can throw away. All right, so we have our piece. See, if you just move this a little lower, then it's a perfect set. You just have to remove just a little bit of the pencil mark because I always like to cut just a little beside the pencil mark. All right, now maybe we do like the corners too. Can we do that still? Let me check. We still can do that. Oh yes, lovely. That's the really the finishing touch. So do the same thing on your design paper. Beautiful. That is really the finishing touch. What do you think? Yes, cool. I like it. Alright, put this away. Um, then, I'm going to grab our base. And I'm going to put this flat. We know we have that, that extra. <laughs> Sorry guys, yeah, so words are just not popping up my mind. They are not, just not. Um... I am going to see what the end of this one is, but it's not easy to be seeing, so I'm just going to use a piece of paper so I do see the end of this, because as you can see, that is a little extra, so I just want to see better. Then, what I'm going to do, I like this to be almost at the end. Alright, and then I don't have much space right here, it should be, because I want to have, if I'm going to do a, oh that's also possible, if only I had a bigger piece of paper, how I'm going to solve that, 
if I had my paper bigger, then I could just line this up and then make a hinge on the left side. But this is not... I already have this the same size. Okay, that was not good thinking, but okay, we're gonna solve that. We're gonna solve that. Do we have a piece of paper that's the same size? Yep, that's it. I'm just gonna solve that, guys, with an extra piece of paper. So, what can I recommend that you do? Have that you use a larger piece of paper. All right, but my mistake, guys. Sorry, <laughs> my mistake. Yes, I am sometimes pretty much chaotic. <laughs> All right, do not think very straight, but I do my best. I do my stinky best, and now I have this also not folded wide, but that's no problem because I want to overlap that. Just fold it the other way. Okay. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place this on top here because we're still gonna add um, our design paper on it. Just gonna cut this one a little this direction. So first I'm gonna add this one on. But if you have cut your papers right away in the correct size, which I should have done that too. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just gonna make something that solves it. Now I just push this open. Okay. Alright, this is the spot, guys. This is the spot. Yes. Here we go. Yep. And now I can use this as my hinge. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. See, everything is gonna be alright. Everything is gonna be okay. There you go. Still having a nice hinge. You also can put this hinge in between, but then I don't like how it turns out. So I like to put this around my paper so I have still a nice edge right here. Alright, so now we can put this on as I still have this nicely at the edge. Just watch where you want this. Nice and straight. There you go, hold it down, put it on. There you go. Alright, so we have made an extra page on our front page, if that makes sense. Yes, that makes sense. Alright, now let's see. I think I'm just gonna add this on as it is. I really like how this is already. So. So much the edges. I'm gonna use my vintage photo for this one. not in so I need to clean up really fast. I think 
forgot to leave that in. Wait just a second. Okay, I could not open it completely, so. But I solved it for now. I think of course I also need something for the back. So I actually needed to have two design papers. Stupid of me. Yeah, I really need to get back in the vibes. <laughs> Definitely. It's been a while. Well, with everything going on lately, it's been a while. But that's no excuse. That's no excuse at all. There we go. Definitely I like to have a, a strip for this one. Mm, which one? Sometimes you just need to make up your mind just quick. Not quick, but quick, quick, but if you know what I mean. Um, just gonna like this. Right here, right here. Yep. Cover this one up. So let's check it out. Um, I am working mostly first with my papers that I that don't have any cut out. So this is these papers are my leftover papers from my first paper set. So what do you think? Which one? Definitely no dots. So those are going. Ooh, this one is also nice. For the dogs. I'm just gonna skip each one. Oh, I really like this one. I do. I do. Maybe just the stripes. Oh! Yes, perfect. I like it. Let's go for the stripes. Oh my gosh. I also can go for the dark. And then overlap that a little bit. Ooh, that would be fancy too. That would be awesome. Well, let's do that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm crazy. Alright, how we do that? Make a mark right here. And then make a mark this direction. So, what we need then? Well, you can cut it, but I always like to save the papers the best I can. I'm just gonna make a mark till I think it's needed. Then I make my mark right here the bottom. See that this overlaps. Okay so this I can cut out. See that's why I 
the water line. So this I'm going to cut out. This I'm going to cut out. And this I'm going to cut out. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay. So let's do it. Let's go right away with a little difficulty. Just follow the lines. And if you don't want to do this, then of course you can use any other paper you like. Back on the line. Yep. Cool. Okay. Oh, wow. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna see how how the color green is looking. Ooh. Oh. I'm also going to smooch with green, this dark, very cool, make it a little crunchy at the corners if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But -da, -ba -da, ba da Let's check it out. Oh my gosh. Look how amazing this looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely make sure that your glue is good enough. And with good enough, I mean, of course, that this needs to be nice on your papers. This looks as if, if, if the dog just walks out of papers. Doesn't it? Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, okay. Yep, this is really a cool vibe. If I may say so myself. Yeah, cool. So we have a nice opening page. Yep, from here we continue. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> cool. All right, so let's continuing with the next step. So this is a nice intro, not nice income. Um, so let's flip this open. And I already traced on the leftover of this paper. Um, so I just trace this and I just cut it out so it's a nice left side but I'm not gonna use this completely I think I'm just gonna cut this maybe even the same as this one so it's a nice same same piece so I'm gonna cut this down Line 
this up. Try to make this straight. Yep. That's why I love this one because you can line this up nicely with the scoring spots. Alright, definitely gonna because now we're definitely finally into the papers. I can open my my ink pads. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna switch between the vintage photo and uh, the forest moss. But I definitely like the vintage photo. Um, so, this. We are going to put this down. Even this side is beautiful. Difficult to use. Not difficult to use, but it is all so beautiful. If I may say so myself, can I say that about my own papers? Yes, I can. I just do that. I can be proud of my papers. We love the grungy vintage look. I absolutely adore. Alright, so. Now this is ready. Alright, now I definitely want something on here. Just a small pocket or something. What do you think? A nice small one. So I'm just going to grab my leftover piece. And let's make a score line. You know my videos are follow along videos. So I just do as go with the flow and so I don't have exactly just stay away at least two millimeters away from this edge right here guys stay away all right so yeah, my videos are for those who are new to this channel I do only follow along videos because I am not meant to be <laughs> To give you written tutorials or lists with all the measurements because that's just not my thing and I also can say that I hate it if I I tried it I really tried it but if I write something down I completely don't understand what I just wrote <laughs> well maybe a second later I do but um, later on I don't I don't so yeah that's just me all right so how I made a bottom piece now how deep do we want this pocket maybe we can just use a, a nice image for this and then we just go oh, can I use my doggies love these I also can use them for tags. Wipe your paws. Something like that would be nice. Alright, now this will fit, but if I put this all the way around with a nice edge, then I need to cut this down right here. So that is how I do this right now because I want to use I want to use that tag on it. All right, next I'm just gonna use double-sided tape. You also can use glue, of course. Totally what you prefer using. I do like to cut the corners because it saves you bulk. And then I also like to first add the bottom piece. Okay, stay away from this edge guys. You can better put this noise against against this piece of paper. Then I li also like to use, for those who are new to my channel, um, 
why do I use this tape? Um, I'm gonna tell you why. Because this is covered this hinge and everything now slides nicely inside. If I don't do this, then everything what I put inside will bump into that um, hinge. So that is why I make sure that the hinge is nice and flat. And this is just paint, painter tape. But I, you do need to really burnish this down so it stays there. All right, then next I have a trick that I do have. Um, put your bone folder right here and then close down your pocket. That leaves you already some space, easy space, to put everything inside. It's very easy. So you don't have to pulk your pocket open. All right, that is done. Alright, so let's give that a decoration. Of course I want to add this piece on here. Does not mean that I need to um, use a full, I call that, a full piece of design paper. I can use just backgrounds, just little strips. Um, hmm. I also could make a little pocket on top of this. <laughs> but then I can't use this any longer. But then it does fit in here. Oh my gosh. Can we go wild? <laughs> Let's do that, guys. Just as you can see. Go with the flow. I just had a leftover piece, so why not use it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Again, just put some tape on all the way around, then cut the corners. Do something out of the box. Just glue another pocket on. And with this one too. can use this but then in the pocket yeah cool <laughs> yeah sorry guys sometimes I just think of something and then I just like to do it cool so um, we can decorate this you can wait for that um, totally up to you um, but yeah let's see what papers that we can use all these are normally small pieces but Let's check. I think I like this one. What do you think? So I'm just going to start with. I think I'm just going to cut this the long. Wait just a second. I cut it this way. Wait, 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 wait. You can use it also this way, Diane. Don't need the long piece. Okay, so I'm first gonna cut the bottom. Wait just a sec because now I have two marks. Yeah, this this marks. This mark it is. Okay, that's for the bottom pocket. Then we're just gonna grab this one for the middle. So we're just gonna go a little lower. 
Oh, we can just split this. And it's already ready to go. And then I still can change everything. But, alright, so what do you want? Do you want two dark ones? And then this right here. Do you like this? Or do you like to flip this over? And this. You can choose whatever you want. I go for this. For the dark one. Cool. I could not open my glue bottle just yet. Oh. And then I'm just going to flip this around and I'm going to use this one. Burnish everything nice, so the glue is nice to it all. And then you can put everything inside what you want, of course. I really like this. So, just a sec, maybe. Booklets. So this is a very easy way to make those. Just glue it down on a piece that fits also the left side. Then I'm just gonna cut this out and then of course I'm just going to score right along, fold it nice and straight, brush it down, and cut all the stuff. It can be that simple. Yes. Cool. Alright, so we can make a tag later on, a larger one. Um, 
I always like to do that with leftover pieces. Um, yeah, maybe we can do a little strip at the bottom. Let's check that out. everything of course but Ooh, this one is nice too everything. everything fits so nice Okay, choose one. Choose one. I go with the doggies. blank one. Let's put a blank one on. Alright. I'm addicted with black edges, I don't know, but I truly am addicted. You can put it on or under, what do you like? And then the last pocket we'll leave it for now because it's already nice and thick but cool yes so far so cool yeah let's go to this page okay guys now on the white side i want to i only want to do some decorations because we don't have any space otherwise because this is just a flat page so I only want to have some decorations and I do know that I do like to come back with, with, with what I already have. But if I put this on, I just cut off the piece with the dock, of course, which, which, which we cut off this one. Um, but if I close this, then this will come underneath so that I don't want what I do want is that this is just enough okay so I'm just gonna measure right here then length 
go. like the dark one so your shape will be extra good looking Everything is nicely and then I think I will use this. Just need to cut this off a little bit and a little bit from the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put this down so you still have a nice picture spot. There we go, burnish it down, guys. Clean all spots if you don't want to see, but yeah, eventually the glue will dry, of course. But but whatever you have get rid of is not be seen. Okay, I like it. I always can add a little decoration right here and I was thinking maybe something like this or maybe oh or maybe something like this oh this cute you can use anything But it is cute, isn't it? To put this on here, something. Well, we always can come back. All right, so far so cool. I love the, all the color combinations. Definitely can, can see that this is a green page. Wow, love it so far, so cool. Yep, let's go further. Ah, cool. <laughs> 